Hey everyone, it's Tasia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, quick, well it's probably not going to be that quick, but it's of all my new releases that I've been working on. I have been trying to design every day, um, and I'm still going to be designing every day, but I just love the seasons that are coming up. Fall, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, the colors, just everything about it. I just love it. I feel like I'm a bit more creative when it comes to these seasons uh, in comparison to like summer. I hate summer and I think that translated. I, I don't really have very many summer designs. I just, I just, if I'm not feeling something, it's really hard for me to express, you know, my love for it in designs when I, I frankly hate summer. <laughs> I hate the heat. I if if the sun could be shining and it be really cold, all about it. But when it starts getting hot and it's just uncomfortable, ugh. But anyways, let's get started with the new stuff. So the first one would be the fall bucket list. This is a jumbo sticker. This is a big guy. It fits in the um like the notes section of an Erin Condren planner. Um, so I have the fall bucket list. During my Christmas in July, I had released a holiday bucket list, so I have that as well. Um, so that's that one. I really, again, the colors, I'm all about the colors. And then I made a ton of new date covers. So I'm gonna go a little quicker through these ones because there's nothing you know too fancy about them besides the the little characters that change. So we have stockings available in regular and itty bitty. And then we have the Christmas trees with the cute little faces. And then we have the Frankenstein. Uh, this was already available in the full size, so I just made it an itty bitty. Same goes for the pumpkins and the candy corn. Those were all available in full size, but they're now here in itty bitty. And then we have the little corn acorns I really like those those are cute and then the leaves I did a whole bunch of different colors so we have a gold leaf a navy leaf we have a maroon leaf back there but I'm not going to ruin my pile uh, pumpkin spice latte date covers in regular and itty bitty we have ghosts and then here's that maroon one and then for the monthly overviews, I have for October and November. October's been out for quite some time, uh, but November is just being released. Uh, it'll be up by the time you see this video. And I did some changes, so I'm gonna show you that. So the October, you have the monthly banner and the sidebar. And then you have the Celebrate the Day stickers and Itty Bitty, as well as some date covers, some bills, uh, and then some blank things to put in that. And then when it comes to no November, this is where it got a little different. So this is the same. We have the the strips that go over the top and the sidebar for the bills, special events, and goals. And then you have this again is the same with the date covers and some clouds, birthday, and bills. And then this guy I changed. So for the itty bitty celebrate the day, I recolored them to match the color scheme for the month. And then I made these full box stickers for the monthly overview. So we'll see how that goes. Let me know your opinion. Do you use the full box stickers in your monthly overview? Do you not? Um, I thought it would be kind of cute because sometimes I don't really have much going on in the monthly overview. So kind of spice it up a little bit. So we have that. And then a bunch of kits. So. The newest kit that I just made, I just filmed a plan with me, so that's gonna be going up in just a little bit as well, is the Daydream kit. So it's a really pretty color scheme with pinks and purples. They're all really light and pastel. It comes with uh, the normal, you got your page flags, your hydrate, your headers, your weekend banner, and then you have your checklists. When it came to the full boxes, I just made them solid because I wanted the layout to just be really creamy, that's not a really good word to describe it, but that's what I was going for because, so you have those and then you can put these white clouds over it and I thought that was just really pretty. It wasn't too busy. I didn't want to hold a whole bunch of stuff going on, so that's why I chose that. You have some really cute stars and then your sidebar and then some cloud date covers. So we have that in regular. We have it in itty bitty and we have it in horizontal. So this is the size comparison when it comes to the itty bitty and the regular. So 
definitely a really big difference. These are great. They're sized for the Erin Condren planner or something similar. Um, these I would recommend for a personal size planner or something similar in size. Itty bitty kits. It's hard because the characters, I love using itty bitty characters in any type of planner. But when it comes to the full box stickers and things like that, the size difference is huge, as you can tell there. So that's why if you were to get the itty bitty kit to use in like an Erin Condren planner or something big like that, these boxes would only take up like a small portion of the regular box. It just wouldn't translate. So we have that. And then we have the celebrate the day, or not to celebrate, but the October monthly kit. This is by far the biggest kit I've ever done. Um, there's a ton of stickers in this. I made the sticker sheets a little bit bigger. Instead of just getting the celebrate the day, you have celebrate the day and then on the bottom here you kind of have more of like a bucket list type of thing going on with things that you just want to do in the month of October. Those. And then you have uh, some more headers. The page flags. There aren't... The page flags, it's one a day you, uh, because you also have the lists. There's 24 lists. And then you have the full box decorative stickers, which again, there's more of than usual. You have your dinner menus, some just kind of littler, smaller lists, your weekend banners, things like that. Your character stickers, your fitness stickers, and then your date covers. So again, ton of stickers when it comes to the October monthly. Put that on the side and it comes in again regular itty bitty and horizontal so this is the itty bitty version exactly the same you get the same stickers it's just a different size so we have that and then some more kind of fall and halloween stuff we have nightmare before christmas so the nightmare before christmas you get all these cute little characters and some headers the full box stickers have the cute little guys in them as well and some more characters you have the full box stickers, some sidebar things, and some cobwebs, and then the uh, date covers. So we have that in regular, when I say regular, it's vertical, um, itty bitty, and then even horizontal. So that's that. And then we have the pumpkin spice, which again is available in all three sizes. And you have the date covers, the full box lists, sidebar stuff. Sorry, my camera just crapped out on me, but full box stickers. And then for the page flags, they're cute little pumpkins. And then you got your hydrate and your headers. Uh, I wanna do more page flags like this. So keep your eye out for that. So you, again, those two sizes. And then just some random stickers. So I'm going through the process of possibly buying a home. So I made this cute little sticker sheet to kind of document the progress in my planner so you have your pre-approved let's start shopping i don't know about you but as soon as i find out that i get to decorate something new or just anything i go to pinterest for tons of inspiration there's so many house like home decor type of things on pinterest and paint colors and all kinds of stuff so of course you have to become a Pinterest addict. And then you have uh, these stickers here, so you can put the MLS number, or if you wanted to put the address, the price, and then how you felt about it, you know, how much you loved it. Then you have make offer, offer accepted, signed papers, earnest money, inspection, appraisal, and then closing day. So that is that sheet. And then I made some migraine stickers, so they're available in regular and itty bitty. So you have those there. And then mini page flags, so these are much shorter. They're just about an inch. Still the same width, um, but again, stubbier. So just to spice things up a little bit in your planner and change the way, so you, I don't know, just change the way it's de decorated, you know? And then I had a request to make these little no work uh, page flags in itty bitty, so we have those. And then I also had a request to do uh, homework headers in itty bitty pastel so we have those as well another request uh, was the what's it called birthday countdown so we have that in regular and itty bitty and it's for your own birthday so <laughs> countdown to your birthday and then the last one is happy birthday to me 
I love hearing your guys' ideas. I'm unfortunately unable to do custom orders uh, just due to time restraints, but definitely I am always writing down what you guys are requesting because I want to make what you what you want. <laughs> so you'll see them coming up. Sometimes I get them out really quick, sometimes not so much, it just depends. But anyways, the next one is the breakfast. So we have that in regular and itty bitty. So we have donuts and eggs, waffles, pop tart cereal, OJ, all that kind of good stuff. And then we have the October bucket list. This comes in regular and itty bitty. It looks like I did not put the regular size in here, but it's the exact same thing, just larger. So you have all the little things that you may want to do for October. And then we have Celebrate the Day, November, in regular and itty bitty, as well as October. So regular and itty bitty. And then December will be coming out in a little while. I just have to, to draw those. And then we have this Halloween mix sheet. But yeah, that whew, is all the new releases. <laughs> that seemed like a really rambly video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you have ideas that you want to see made into a sticker, uh, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.